Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Nicole Frolic of Inflexible Me, and we're going to be doing your December monthly read. We're going to look into the crystal cards, see if I can't get some insight, guided messages for you for the month of December on what needs to be brought into our awareness for our own personal growth and understanding of ourselves through this ascension process that we're all on. Um, before I start, I wanted to let you guys know, if you're not on my newsletter, then you don't know this yet, but I have announced that I am giving away five one month coaching programs to um, say thank you. Thank you for all of your support, for all of the kind words that you guys have left on my channel, um, through emails, through personal messages. Uh, it's just been so kind and so sweet and so supportive. And it has been well received. I thank you so much because this has been quite a year. So as a great big thank you to all of you, I've decided to give away these uh, one month coaching programs and I'm gonna be giving away one each week of December. So starting on December 3rd, I'm gonna be giving them away each Tuesday, I'm gonna be doing the draw. Um, and if you're interested and you wanna be part of this uh, contest to win a one month coaching program with me, all you need to do is um, go over to the Alchemy program and sign up. All those people that are already in the program, you are automatically entered and anyone who enters new, you will be entered as well. All right, so while you're waiting for your chance to win one of these monthly coaching programs, you can take advantage of all the guided meditations I posted in there, all the timeless readings, and a lot of video information content that I don't put on this actual site. All right, everyone, if you're interested, I'd love to see you there, and I hope that you win one of those gifts. So without further ado, let's go into the, um, the reading and find out what's in store for the month of December. For those of us on this path of ascension, what energies are going to be uh, influencing us? Oh, we have one that's kind of flipped over. Let me just... Um, what information do we need to know? What energies will be influencing us at this time for our greatest growth, spiritual evolution? And the first one is Malachite clearing. Mm. You know, oh, I love Malachite. Okay, beautiful heart chakra energy. Also a little bit of um, solar plexus. Uh, knowing your worth. Also knowing um, your value through the heart. And clearing things. Wow, we have another green one. Okay, we have um, dioptase. Uh, the healing heart. Oh, gosh. Wow, more heart energy this month. That was a big theme, I think, for um, November. Clearly, uh, it's still filtering in here. So we have clearing and we have the healing heart. So um, moving through some things that allow us to have more of a heart opening, allowing us to access uh, more of those, um, those loving codes Okay, here we go. Wow, as I'm saying that, redocrosite, self-love, self-love, the healing heart clearing. Oh, guys, this is beautiful energy coming through for us. What a great way to finish off the, um, the year of 2019 before we go into 2020, the year of perfect vision. Having a clear and open heart, understanding your own worth, through these acts of self-love, paying attention to yourself. Here we go, the last one. Mm. Clear calcite, universal mind. Okay, guys, I'm going to be sitting with the cards for just a moment, and then I'll be right back with your reading. Hey guys, okay, this reading is really beautiful, it's intense, and it feels like, gosh, if you guys know my journey, I've been speaking about it, this feels like this reading speaking directly to me in some ways, but I know a lot of you are going through this, this is a collective reading, so um, part of the reason why I know I'm being pushed or nudged to share some of the things that I have been lately on my videos, because I know many of you are going through very similar things. The context may be a little bit different, but the energies are very similar. So with that in mind, we have Malachite as our first stone clearing. Malachite um, has a lot of copper in it, and it 
deals with the solar plexus. So as we're clearing things out of the heart, it's allowing the individualization and the knowing um, of our own identity to come forth more. And this is really important of paying attention to who we are, remembering who we are deep down on a soul level. Um, malachite clearing also comes up when there may be physical ailments, okay, because it's a very earthy stone. Um, in fact, malachite was um, used in the Atlantean times as one of the most uh, deeply rooted earth stones to, to work with. And so it deals a lot with um, ailments within the body. So talking about this idea of clearing, understanding who we are and getting to the heart of matters, I feel like is important here. So there may be something coming up in your body, a physical ailment of some sort that needs to be brought to your awareness that it's time for clearing and it has something to do with the heart. Uh, the emotional body will be able to guide you through this with Malachite. I wanted to read here to you guys um, that <clears throat> Trust the spirit you are. Your faith in self is often being tested when Malachite appears in your life. There comes a time in everybody's life when they must clear away a sacred space to simply exist alone within. Remember, alone is all one, not alone. Okay, so um, the affirmation for the stone I'm going to give you guys is, I am a blinding light. I am healed, clear, and free. And... Um, <clears throat> So this stone, when it shows up, it, it also presents that there's, it's, it's bringing in a lot of courage for you to face what needs to be faced here. When something needs to be cleared, it can often have to do with limiting beliefs and fears around something. And that's kind of presenting through so oftentimes a physical ailment, not necessarily for all of you, but some of you, you will definitely notice that. Okay. So that's the first stone. Then we go over to um, Dioptase, <clears throat> the healing heart. And Dioptase, oh gosh, <clears throat> this stone in Atlantean times was very potent, still is potent, but it was actually only used by the um, high priests and priestesses for healing um, because of its potency and ability to heal the heart. There is no other stone that can heal the heart much like Dioptase can. So again, this is driving home the need to <clears throat> clear some stuff out so that a big heart healing can take place this month for you. It also talks about healing broken hearts. So I don't know if any of you have had a broken heart or that surfacing right now, <clears throat> but when dioptase comes in, it's facilitating the energies to help bring that broken heart back into wholeness, okay? To heal it back into one. And so there may be some healing happening for you guys in relationships, if that's something that you um, are involved in, or perhaps something that was a relationship and is no longer. Um, also, um, it's going to be assisting in relationship of just yourself, probably more so than anything, because all of these things externally can't start taking place until the healing happens within. So there's a big healing happening here for us on a heart level, asking us to go within and to really take a deep look at ourselves with a lot of compassion and a lot of love. Why? Because <clears throat> we have redocrocyte coming up, self-love. Redocrocyte is all about um, the is all about giving that love back to yourself. It usually shows up when you have forgotten about yourself, where you have put all of your energy and attention into everyone and everything outside of you and have forgotten about filling your own cup up. And it often happens to a lot of healers. So when we're healing, we often forget about ourselves and forget that our deepest responsibility spiritually is self-love. Self-love is one of our greatest responsibilities that we have to learn on this path forward. So understanding that there's a lot, there's something really big happening this month of December that's asking us to be aware of, to clear the heart, to clear the body as well, and to really open the heart for healing because something's coming forth here that requires our attention and it requires our attention back to specifically ourselves. And with Redocrocyte here, there was something here I wanted to read to you guys. <clears throat> um, 
where Docrosite opens the heart under the guidance of the spirit and carries their united energies down to the sacral. This manifests new love and belief in self, opening deep, profound healing that is empowered through forgiveness. This potent combination will release deep pain and hurt, often related to sexuality and abuse. Guys, I talked to you in the last, I think, um, I think in one of my, my, my readings for the month of November about my The Abundance Code video that I did. Um, and you can scroll down on my YouTube page. I have it there um, right on the front homepage of, you, of the YouTube homepage. Uh, if you haven't taken a look at The Abundance Codes thing. But there, there is something being called here to clear and remember that could potentially have relation to do something to the sacral area of needing to bring in a lot of love and forgiveness potentially for an act of um, abuse around sexuality, okay? Some sort of sexual abuse or something, some sort of violation. Um, as I mentioned to you guys in my inner child video, that is something that's surfacing for me at this time that I'm trying to remember and pull in um, pull in some of those fragmented parts. And as I say that fragmented parts, we then get universal mind, um, clear calcite. Clear calcite is all about allowing ourselves to pull in those fragmented parts of ourselves to remember, to allow us to get such a clear mind that we start remembering past lives, that we start remembering the parts of us that um, we have forgotten and have feel fragmented okay so a lot of this healing is about bringing things back into union for ourselves to to heal and and collect these um traumatic fragmented parts that we've disassociated ourselves from bring them back in remember them heal them into wholeness and allow ourselves to um to elevate, to level up, to um, reach a new level in our ascension journey. When clear calcite shows up, it often um, comes up when you are reaching or past an initiation of the third ascension level, um, which is the mind mastery. And so there's, although there is a lot of heart energy that is taking place here, okay, throughout the majority of this reading, it's ending with a clear knowing, a clear understanding that is of a spiritual initiation for you to finally remember and re recollect all of those lost parts into wholeness, okay, so that you have this beautiful union within you to reflect um, out to your world, okay? And I talk about this a lot because it's so important when we're on this healing journey to understand how much union shows up in our external world when it's already healed within us. So there's a lot of this coming up. Now, I find it interesting, guys. I want to say this. As we're leaving 2019 and heading into 2020, Claire Kelsite, Universal Mind, 2020 is going to be the year of perfect vision where 2019 was all about really taking off the mask, really understanding who we are, um, not pretending to be someone we're not anymore, like really allowing that true version of self to come to the forefront. Why? Because I believe with 2020, there is this um, clear understanding or clear sight that is going to be coming in where everything is going to be like razor sharp clear for us throughout the year of 2020 like there's no more hiding if things thought they were hiding there's just no more hiding it's going to all be out in the open and in order for things to be received and to be understood well when they're out in the open like that sometimes it can cause some co cognitive dissonance okay with those who aren't ready for it um, if you've been someone who's been working through taking the mask off of yourself, when the mask is actually taken off on a collective level, on a world stage level, you will have a much deeper um, rooted, um, what's the word I'm looking for, <clears throat> spiritual grounding in all of this to keep you sane, okay, as some of these revelations come forth. And I feel like we're going to have to be guideposts and um, posts for other people to lean on when this sort of happens. So having a lot of our own heart healing come through this last month to really open up a clear understanding of what's kind of coming in by bringing in those fragmented parts on a collective level, when that starts to happen in 2020 and all of these fragmented parts become revealed on a collective level, 
we will be um, we will be kind of forces of light for others to lean on around us, and we'll also be able to help people through it. So I feel like there's a lot of that energy kind of prepping us for the um, emergence of 2020 as we wind this uh, year down and we get ready to open up into a beautiful year of the number four, which is all about stability, right? It's all about strength. It's about union in many ways, um, but it's all about structure stability and strong foundations and so I feel like you guys if you've been doing this work on the ascension path you you have been putting in the work to have your strong foundation in place for a lot of the I feel like there's going to be some blowbacks coming in for 2020 and so you're putting yourself um, you're giving yourself kind of like a, a leg up um, uh, you're, you're kind of like getting ahead of the game, right? Like you're, you're kind of putting some pieces in. It's almost like they're showing me like, um, uh, like a, almost like a scavenger hunt or a treasure hunt chase. And many of you are like putting flaggers or markers in place to, to recall like your way forward when it's time to go. I don't, I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's kind of like what I'm seeing. Um, so anyways, guys, that's my reading for you guys for the month of December. Um, it sounds like we're gearing up for a really big 2020 and uh, lots of love to you guys all. Thanks so much for being part of this journey with me. And I um, am looking forward to drawing my first winner uh, for the uh, coaching giveaway. All right. Well, I love you guys all. If you need more, any more information about me, head on over to my website and flexibleme.com. I have a newsletter there you can sign up for. Uh, as well, I have my podcast, Enlighten Up, that comes out every Thursday. We've got some great guests lined up for the month of December. And if you need any more information about me, it's all there in the description box below or on my website. I love you guys. Have a beautiful, beautiful month of December, and I'll be back with you soon.